What's up? What's going on, Pisces people? All right, I have a very special surprise for you guys. So since the Pisces deck is currently out of stock and we're all waiting for it to be restocked, I thought I would go ahead and open up personal readings for a very, very limited time, you guys. Um, I did have to raise the price a little bit because, you know, I sold out so quickly last time and I was so booked up. So, you know, for those who can afford to uh, get a personal reading, the link will be below. You just got to go to PiscesRUs.com. Got the website back up. So, um, yeah, for a limited time only, you guys. I don't know how long I'm going to leave the reading up there, but, you know, I'm feeling like I got some message to give y'all for those who want it. And so many people are emailing me about the Pisces deck being restocked. So if you do want a personal um, reading from your girl, it's going to be a video reading um, about 10 minutes or whatever. So the link will be below. You can go to PiscesRS.com. All right. So let's start with this rebel deck here. We need some blunt messages for Pisces today. All right. I love the Rebel Deck. I don't use it enough, y'all. If you're interested in the Rebel Deck, it's also below the link. All the decks I use will be linked below. All right. So let's see. Oh, shoot. What are the messages Pisces don't want to hear? <laughs> okay. That's for all of us right in the middle. Put the fucking phone down, Pisces. All right. Let's see. I'm not going to read reversals right now. All right. So it says... It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing, Pisces. What's going on right now? Are you a bit confused? Are Pisces in a confused state of being right now? Let's see. It says, get your head out of your ass. Pronto. All right. So some of y'all could be feeling stuck. All right. But Spirit is telling you to, you know, get your shit together, Pisces. And put the fucking phone down. All right. So maybe you got to stop listening to my ass on these readings or whatever. Just disconnect from technology. Get off of Instagram. Get off of Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Stop being so chimed into the notifications that pop up on your phone. I'm definitely speaking for all of us because I'm guilty of that too. Um, just picking up my phone every five minutes for no reason. So um, what I've started to do, y'all, at, especially at nighttime, when I when I say I'm laying down to go to bed, I literally plug my phone all the way across the room, and that's what I've been doing for at least the weekday. So it's like I'm not tempted of just like being on my phone all freaking night for no reason. So you guys may want to use that little tip, okay? Because spirit is saying put the phone down. It's too much time out here being wasted, okay? And it says get over yourself, pull your shit together. All right, help people, give back, do good shit for humanity. And you know, this was the one card that came in the reverse. So I feel like you guys already do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the message that spirit already knows that you have. But, you know, maybe just put it back in the forefront of your mind right now. Like, see what you can do for others, especially if you're in a really dark, depressed energy, all right? Like I know everyone, all Pisces are not the same. Every Pisces is not feeling the same right now. But for those who are feeling like they're stuck in a dark place, you know, every time you, you take that focus off of yourself and, you know, um, selflessly put it on someone else and, and think about what you can do for another person, it really helps you come up out of that depressed energy. So, you know, maybe that's what you need to do right now. Just See what you can do for, you know, your community, your pet, your friend, your family, whatever. The stranger at the grocery, grocery store, whatever you can do for somebody, maybe it's time for you to kind of like do that. You know, spirit is saying that will kind of raise your vibration, okay? All right, so let's get to these messages. I think I'm going to use the psychic um, tarot deck. I love this deck. This link will also be below, y'all. All right, so let's get into these messages. What are the messages for Pisces? What are the messages for Pisces at this time? God, I'm just going to what Pisces need to know. What's going on with Pisces right now? Ooh, what's going on with Pisces right now? I'm just going universe. All right, I'll leave that right here. All right, Pisces. So, wow, we got a lot of reversals here, okay? I'm not one to ignore reversals. <laughs> For those who know me, every time I try to ignore a reversal, I just 
can't, so whatever. Um, so we got the first card that came out was Stand Your Ground in the reverse, card number seven. And, um, you know, ironically, it came in the reverse, but it came underneath of the Rebel card that says, you know, it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. And as you see here in this picture, this man is kind of blacked out, like, you know, he's back, back, back lit, you know, so you can see his silhouette, but you can't see the features, you can't see him or whatever. And it's saying stand your ground, but it's in the reverse. So I feel like there's something that you're just not sure of, okay? I'm actually going to read this card, card number seven. I just love the number seven. It's just a very lucky number to me, as is number three, which is my favorite number. All right, but I do want to know, like, because I feel, I feel like there is a cloudiness that a lot of y'all are sitting in right now. Like, you're in some sort of cloudy period where you are not seeing everything as you should be, all right? Um, let's see what's really going on. And this is about the mental, all right? It says this card comes at a time when you are being tested and uh, challenged, all right? There may be fierce competition and potential rivals surrounding you in your personal or your business life, all right? But know that you have the strength and the inner courage to stand your ground. No matter how hard or formidable things may appear, don't surrender or give up the control, all right, um, the control that you have. Be brave and stay true to your core life values and your belief system, all right? This is the time to stay true to yourself, Pisces. Stay true to yourself. Even when things are looking cloudy, hazy, you're not sure if you should go left, right, whatever, stay true to yourself. Tap into you, your center, who you are, who you were raised to be, you know what I'm saying? That's always going to bring you back, all right? Um, the rest of this card says it's, impor it's important right now to remain clear and to remain focused, all right? You may have to stand alone and defend your convictions to the end, all right? We already talked about this um, in a few uh, past readings, and it's just about you stepping away from the crowd, Pisces, like whether it's forced upon you or whatever, you don't fit in, you're you're never going to fit in like you know it is what it is and that's a blessing and a curse you know but find the blessing in it stand your ground and don't bend don't break who you are for you know the outside world for society all right even if it doesn't make sense now it will make sense at the end all right it also says um you may have um, you know, low energy right now, but know that this will be a hard won victory. So you're going to be victorious. You know, at the end of all this, everything's going to be way more clear. All right. They already say, they always say hindsight is 2020. So just because you don't see things clearly right now, once you get past these things, everything's going to make way more sense to you. All right. We have card number three that came in the middle in the reverse and says partnerships and alliances. So oh, this is more of that lone wolf energy. All right. It came in the reverse. So I feel like a lot of you guys are solo dolo right now or you are dealing in a you are dealing with a situation where you kind of want to break free from a group of people, from a person could be going through a tough, tough breakup. You could have felt like somebody left you hanging. All right. You see this? This is like somebody pulling on, you know, an arm for help, for assistance. And you could be feeling that you don't have anyone's arm to pull on. Like it's you literally against the world because if you don't have it, you don't have anyone to go to to get it. All right. Um, this is telling me that you have assistance, Pisces, but it may not be in the physical form that you're thinking of. All right. It may not be a man's arm. All right. You may not have a, a real life person to go to in your time of need, but spirit is saying that they will be that arm for you. All right. Spirit, God will lead you, guide you, and things will magically fall into place for you because you need that assistance. You don't have a million people you can go to like a lot of other people. All right. If you can't afford it, you have to think of a way to figure it out. A, a lot of you guys, if it's hidden, it's hidden, all right? Some people can just go to whoever to get them to pay for this in their time of need. But for those out there um, listening to this message, you guys can't do that, all right? And spirit sees you, spirit hears your cry for help, and you're not alone. Even though you cannot 
um, depend on these people in the physical sense right now, this is making you stronger. It's making you um, more self-reliant, all right? And you're so independent, Pisces, and people really, you know, hope to be this way. And, you know, looking at you, it's like, damn, how is she doing all this by herself? How is he doing all this by himself? Like, what the hell? Um, and this could be without the help of like a job. Some of, some of you guys are entrepreneurs here. Um, it's some sort of crutch that you don't have anymore. Somebody dropped you or, you know, some sort of um, person that you were dependent on is just not there for you anymore. Or you never had this to begin with. All right. But there's positive movement forward here. We got card number eight, the only card upright. All right. Fertility here wanted to come out too ironically card number three as well so we got two threes a lot of alignment on the table but it came in the reverse so another form of ending something that you could have put a lot of hard work towards that it just didn't pay off okay but card number eight letting us know regardless our movement is positive and it's going forward all right you're not going to be in the shadows any longer you see the difference here? You're going from having to stand alone, being in the dark, being in the shadows by yourself, misunderstood, all that, to being in the light, being in the sun, being proud, being understood, being seen. You see the difference here? Huge difference. And card number eight, to me, the number eight suggests infinity. It suggests, you know, everlastingness, immortality. So I feel like this is a phase that you're entering that you're going to stay in for the rest of eternity, basically. Like once your, once your soul and your spirit reaches this elevation, this level, um, there's no turning back. There's no turning back. This is infinite for you, Pisces. All right. So everything will definitely be worth it in the end. Okay, so I truly hope these messages helped you in some way, shape, or form. Um, for those who out there who lost a, a baby or something like that, I'm so sorry. My heart goes out to you. Um, I don't know where I just got that from, but I just saw that on the table. So yeah, may be some people out there. Sorry for you about that, okay? Um, but if you guys are interested in a personal reading while it is still available, the link will be below. You can go to PiscesRS dot com. All right. And the Pisces guidance deck will be available soon as well. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Bye.